Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today we're going to be talking about linking constraints inside 3D Studio Max. Link constraints can be very useful for animating or as well for positioning and doing different things inside your scene. So without further ado, let's get this tutorial started. I have my scene set it up uh, the way that you can see at the moment on your screen. And this is something that I'm going to put a link down in the description below where you can download exactly the same setup so that you can practice your skills. And what we're gonna do is here we have uh, this projector and as well we have one dummy. So uh, the projector is split it into three different parts. We have the base, which we are not going to move. Then we have this upper part, which we would like to move. Let me just center it so that everything is uh, correctly. And then we have the top of our projector. So this is the part which is going to follow our dummy. If you don't know how to create dummies, this is something which is done by the create tab. And after that, we need to go into helpers. And the first thing here will be the dummy. Dummies are great for creating different types of animations or just creating some sort of a helper or something that you can link different objects into and then move all these objects simultaneously across your scene. So uh, let's start by linking our assets. First thing that we are going to do is we are going to link the base here to our upper part of the projector. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the link to, and then I'm just going to drag from here. And when you see the highlight on the asset that you would like to link it to, just release. And now we have those two linked. This means that now if I move the upper asset, you can see that I move everything inside the scene. Of course, we don't want to do this because uh, this is not how it works in real life. The base is something which is going to be able to rotate just around, but uh, not to do all of these weird movements. And as well, if I start rotating it, you can see that it rotates everywhere. So we would like to constrain it. The way to constrain it is we need to go into our hierarchy and from there, we are going to put some constraints. So first, we need to remove the move constraints. And then we are going to remove the X and Y on rotate. This way, we can't now rotate it on X and Y. And you can see that if we try to rotate it, it will rotate just on Z, which is around the whole base of our projector. So now that we have this thing linked, we need to connect the upper part to our dummy. The way that uh, we are going to do it is not by using the same uh, link, but instead we are going to use a look constraint. Again, we are selecting the upper part of our projector. We go to animations, constraints, and instead of link constraint, we are going to use look at constraint. So I'm just going to click it and then the same line will appear and then we just click on the dummy. You will see that the projector uh, slightly tilts and moves to look towards it. So this means that everything is connected. You will notice that uh, if I move the dummy, we move the whole projector and it's following where exactly the dummy is. However, you might notice that the base is still not staying over here. So what we need to do is I'll just control Z so that we get in the initial position and we are going to select the base. Then I'm going to go again to hierarchy. And here I'm going to remove what it inherits because at the moment it's inheriting the movement from uh, this asset and we don't want that. So we are going to remove all the axes and as well we are going to remove the rotation on both X and Y. Now if I select the dummy and move it inside the scene, you can see that it's just following where it is. Even if I go up, you will notice that it's not going to move anywhere. I'm talking about the base. Now we can just pick the direction that we would like our lights to be looking at, and we can easily put them over there. 
This technique is something which is extremely useful, especially if you have a huge scene, let's say you're making a movie set or you're making some sort of a huge scene where you have a lot of lights and projectors that uh, need to look at certain points. So you can create uh, your whole scene and then you can link all of your projectors to different dummies. So then when you move them around, they will point to the correct place. Of course, we can put lights and we can put a lot more things into the whole operation here so that you get even more details and more of that technique. Linking your assets in a smart way is great and just by using some locking into different access or what kind of information they inherit, you can do a lot of different things and even without uh, any rigging or without anything, you can easily animate and do different kinds of motion to your environment art. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope that it was useful and you will subscribe and like it. See you next time.